morning, everyone. Um, today we are doing another video, um, but without graphics. Um, we will do graphics probably like Friday or Thursday. Who knows? Um, but today, um, we are talking about the severe weather threat that will be in the, the Mid Atlantic. Um, as I show you today's risk. Uh, we have a a marginal risk that has been issued for portions of uh, Maryland and Virginia, also the Carolinas and Georgia. So that's that severe weather threat right there. I'm going to show you what it is going to be. It's going to be mainly some hail and some strong gusty winds. Maybe even a line of storm starting to fire up right over here. Um. But storms could not be ruled out within our area, pretty much right in this area, or that's a little bit off, uh, pretty much right in this area, we could see some storms that could form. And they could be, you know, some hail producers, uh, small hail producers, um, even down to the panhandle of Florida, and also for Louisiana. We also have some thunderstorm risks over towards the Montana, Idaho, and uh, Oregon area, also for Washington and Oregon, also for the New Mexico, Texas borderlines, and also for portions of Texas, so like the Brownsville area. I would take a look at the tornado risk, less than 2% of all areas, wind risk 5% there, and that's where I think that's where that line of storms in lots of hail will form. So as we take a look at models, as you can see, we're looking at the NAM 3K, and we're going to look at the Northeast now, and then we're going to look at the Southeast in just a minute. So here's the time slot right over here, um, Eastern time, okay? This is Eastern time, and um, as we roll the clock towards about 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so pretty much right about now, it's 6.44 right now. Uh, pretty much right about now, we are we should be seeing um, some rain across portions of central um, Pennsylvania, Vermont, also for West Virginia, um, Ohio, and Kentucky. That cold front, which the cold front is about right here at this point, um, right about here. That cold front, that's a little bit too off. That cold front is about right here. Uh, that cold front is going to gradually move to the east. It keeps moving. There's that severe weather I was talking about uh, right about for these places, that line of storms producing some hail. Okay. Um, maybe we'll see a watch for those areas. Who knows? We might get a slight risk as well. Um, then it's that starts to die out. Here in our area, like I said, some thunderstorms could possibly impact portions of um, Delaware uh, also could impact portions of um, Maryland, the, the shore point, Rehoboth Beach area. You could be getting hit by this as well. Uh, storms will just stay out of South Jersey, but we will get hit on some rain showers, which some of those showers could be a little bit um, heavy at times. Then the cold front um, which is approximately pretty about, right about here. The cold front moves out at about 2 in the morning, and then we turn cold. Not too cold, but nighttime temperatures will be cold. We turn very cold. Let's turn to that. Um, we have some cold, we have some snow up towards uh, Carbon and Mon Monroe counties, the Poconos, getting in on some snow. We have some rain showers that could happen around Wednesday, even some snow showers, that grapple, um, hail, snow type showers that we could see. Uh, we turn cold. Let's look at temperatures. Actually, first, I want to look at severe, the severe weather threats. Uh, we're going to have lots of cape over here. We'll also have the threat for a potential um, supercell to form right there according to there, uh, and then updraft helicity tracks, this is where we could have the chance for tornado tracks, and that is a pretty 
a good tornado track um, if that happens. K index showing that we could get in on some thunderstorms, but I don't think we will. As we change to temperatures, here's what I want you to look at. We get about 84 down here and 60s up here. That's where we're going to see this weather, but not up here. We're about 64. That cold front is about right here. And I'm sorry, where is the cold front? The cold front is about right here. Moves through, and then by about 2 in the morning, when that cold front moves through, it gets cold. About 43 in some of these areas, 30s, um, 40. We were, at, we, were, we were at 82, and now we're at 50. That's literally a 30-degree difference. That's a big drop. We warm up a little bit Wednesday. But we can only make it to the upper 50s in parts of New Jersey, Delaware. We can only make it up to the upper 40s in New Jersey. I mean, in Pennsylvania. People in, in North Carolina are lucky to have those 60s. We turn really cold Thursday night. I'm sorry, Wednesday night to Thursday morning. By about the morning commute, 7 a.m., when people get on the bus, it's going to be 34 degrees. That's a cold day. But good news, we do warm up to about the mid to upper 50s, which is kind of warm, especially that we're, we're going to have those nice conditions without clouds. And then by Friday, oh, we're back. Okay. Um, but, yeah, we warm up and to about 50. Um, and, um, yeah, it's going to be nice and warm. A little bit. You still want to bring some coats. Uh, but as we take a look at wind, I know winds are going to be gusting and howling uh, once this cold front moves through. So the cold front is right here, like about 2 o'clock. That's when the cold front moves right on through. We start to get some gusts, some gusts of 29 we we get some, some gusts up to 30, even some 40 mile per hour gusts could be possible. And that's just going to be persistent and very cold. Um, because we're going to have these cold temperatures and that's just not going to help at all. Some of our feels like temperatures will probably remain low. Now, as we move to the southeast. We're going to roll yours out now. We have these storms. Now, here's where they're probably going to start forming, right about here. This is when they're going to start forming. Um, the Georgia threat starts to form right about there. That is when that line of storms starts to fire up. Now, these do look generally weak. Er, weaker. Uh, but we still have the threat for some tornadoes or an actually tornado or um, the threat of some strong gusty winds and hail. Now, you even have some storms down here in the Florida Panhandle uh, and some, you know, isolated storms all the way from the Carolinas down towards Georgia. So this is a very isolated threat for the whole marginal risk and TSTM risk. Um also known as the thunderstorm risk. Um, so anywhere in these areas, you have the threat for isolated risk. Just an isolated risk of some storms. Um, as we take a look at our severe weather risk, our cape is, I'm sorry, our cape is lower um, than some of these places up here. Though so our cape is still regular, um, Rather me high. Uh, toward supercell composites, you know, the same, um, but very low. Who cares? Tornado parameter, a little bit high over here. So something to watch out. Uh, objects, helicity values, still generally low for some of these areas. Though, you know, some of these areas could pick up on some, you know, an isolated tornado can still not be ruled out. But the threat for wind and hail does still remain. Um, 
So uh, let's just look at the GFS real quick. I want to show everyone the U.S. and show you the upcoming threats for some, um, some storms um, using CAPE and um, K-Index. The next storm system with the... Um, actually, I think we have a risk for that day. Let's take a look. Yeah, so we have a day four risk that I'm going to cover really quickly. And that's going to be for Thursday. No. Uh, if it's, today is Tuesday, so we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So this is going to be for Friday. Oh, yeah. Oof. Look at that cape, guys. That is some indefinite cape. Excuse me real quick. Um, yeah, that is um, some indefinite high cape for the central plains again. Um, so let me go ahead and see what the central plains. Central. We'll just go central. So look at that. Sitting about, oh my god, wow, about uh, 36,000 cape right about here. So remember when we did the live in Puria, um, right about here? That's where we're going to have the next TV weather threat with some high K indexes. And this looks to be like a scattered threat, but something to still watch out for. Wow, even though we have lots of cape, we, the um, radar on um, GFS shows pretty much nothing for those places. Only like a rain shower, unless that's the line of storms that's going to move through. Let's go back to the U.S. Uh, and show you, well, I don't even know where it was, okay. Uh, and just see what we get. Um, woof, look at that. That is an indefinite severe threat, for sure. Um, that looks more like a tornado threat than anything. Although, the, yeah. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, we're going to start getting a little bit active in portions of Oklahoma in areas. Even if this is a new pocketed area. Taking a look at the GFS. Just take a look at that red, uh, that black circle that I put there. Even into New Jersey, we could be getting some severe weather. Kind of, you see how it kind of stays in that bubble? And we, you know, even in New Jersey... In Delaware, we get in on some of the action, but we might have to up that a little bit up here because it does look like it's getting a little bit more higher up into the upper lakes in Mississippi Valley. Look at that. That's just unbelievable. Even over here, we're getting in some action. Yeah. So we have the threat for some storms. Let's look at K-Index real quick. See what we get. Yeah, I think I'll be updated this. Cause it's like a ring of fire just going around. Remember when I did that video on ring of fire? It's like the ring of thunderstorms just going in a circle. Always. It's like this. It's coming out of Mexico in the Gulf. Coming out of here in the Gulf. Um, make some thunderstorms here or here. And then it moves it to here, then moves it here, or moves it here. So it's like a... It's like a ring or a circle doesn't it just keeps doing that for a good time of period uh let's just show you that one more time see how it comes out of mexico kind of and then it moves right into the north mid-atlantic um yeah it just keeps going so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you all like this video and have a good day